Hello everyone, welcome to this Tableau tutorial. Today we're looking at the Intelligence Center, specifically the Health tab. Over here on the left, you're going to see rankings. The number that you are looking at is the rank. Hovering over that number should tell you the number that is represented behind it. So this is C.H. Robinson. C.H. Robinson comes in number one on the 12 month shipment count and then hovering over that ranking will show you how many shipments that represents. This number over here is a bunch of these added together and then compared that sum across all of the different 3PLs. So you can get an idea overall where it is they fall. Shipments is shipments in the last 12 months. Shipment change compares this 12 months to the 12 months before that. Yield is the average over the last 12 months. Percent, excuse me, percent special services says of all the shipments we did in the last 12 months, what percentage of them were either traveling along the champ or were guaranteed. Percent of total accounts receivable that is greater than 30 days is here. The numeric value, the dollar amount of AR that is past 120 days. Full profit down here at the bottom. Again, this is the last 12 months. The number of bids who had a business start date in the last 90 days. How many shipments were won in the last 90 days? And the percent of CISNEs that ended on time. Looks like in this case, it was pretty much all of them. Moving over into the center. Year over year variable profit change. This is going to show you um, how much variable profit we've made. Again, as always, this 12 months over the prior 12 months. Down towards the bottom, we get highest positive contribution accounts. Now this one is worth noting, it's tricky. The number that is showing is not the profit. The number that is showing is the revenue, but they are in order by profit. So this top account has the most positive profit. This account has the second highest positive profit. This account has the third highest positive profit. Even though these revenue amounts don't reflect that, Sunny decided that we didn't want to show profit, probably wisely, to the three PLs that we were interacting with, but we wanted to give them an idea who their best performers were. In the middle, this number is profit, comparing this 12 months compared to the last 12 months. We lost $24,000 of profit at this particular account. Then down at the bottom, we have variable profit, not by a particular account, but by a lane from terminal A to terminal B. Hovering over this will tell you who the main contributor to this number is. So along this lane, the main person contributing that negative profit is I of 8 Health Sciences. Then we get to the churn column. There is a filter here for blanket, non-blanket, if that's of interest to you. Again, I put it over here on the right because it's primarily going to affect these fields here. Each of these dots is an origin terminal where we have lost business. Hovering over one of these dots, and it can be a little bit tricky, is going to show you all of the accounts that had that terminal as their origin and how much revenue they lost this 12 months compared to the prior 12 months. If you find it kind of hard to hover over something, but there's a point you're interested in, you can zoom in with the plus mark over here on the left to a particular area, and you can use this to drag the screen around to find kind of what it is you're interested in. Should make it a little bit easier for you to get your mouse in the right spot. Year of year churn accounts, again, this is 12 months compared to the prior 12 months where it is we lost revenue. And down at the bottom, that is also broken out by lane. So revenue loss wise, hovering over this will show you the accounts that are most contributing to this lost revenue. That concludes all of the tabs for the Intelligence Center. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and ask.